Hey everyone, this is Corner Gamer here, and I'm back once again with another episode of Let's Play Until I Fail. And this episode, yes, you can tell from the music, it is indeed Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Computer Entertainment Europe presents. And I came up with this for episode 10 on the random letter generator, like I always do for the games I choose. I'm just going to turn that down a bit, that's a bit loud in my headset. That's a bit better. It's a great introduction, this. Glory days of Crash Bandicoot. Now, I'm not saying that the other Crash games are bad, that's not a cheap shot to any of the Crash games at all, but... Okay, so, new game. And I'm just going to skip the cutscenes, because they're not really... There we are. It takes some time to skip them, like you have to wait for a couple of seconds to skip the cutscenes in this. Okay then, so, basically for this game, if or, or for this series even, if you're new to the channel, let me explain what this series is about first. In this game, or or in any game that I do, I play the game until I fail. Like, say for instance, for this game, I'm going to be playing it until I lose a life. So that's going to be a stipulation that I put on myself. So if I lose a life, then, well, I stop the video. And that will not completely stop the video, but I end it. So... For this case, for Crash Bandicoot 3, I'm going to be playing it until I lose a life. So I'm going to start with Toad Village as the first. I can't even get my words out. The first level. Okay, so just skip this cutscene. Yeah, Cortex and Uku can normally talk to you there, but I've already done the Let's Play, so there's no need to view the cutscenes again. Okay, so I'm just going to take my time for this game, like what I did with Crash Bandicoot 2. But I didn't last very long on Crash Bandicoot 2. I still died in the poor level. And I can assure you I am not dying on that goat there. That's not gonna happen. That would be very embarrassing if that happened. Okay, so let's get this Arkark mask. Very key to me surviving here. Key item right there. I've seen that who was at Crumbling Cookie had said that this was his favourite Crash Bandicoot game. Well, Sorry about that, everyone. I just had to sneeze there. It's rare that I ever do that during my videos that I sneeze. But there you go. It's always a first and rare time for everything like that to happen. Okay, and I'm not going to bother getting 100% for this. I'm only just going to be getting the crystal, so I'm just going to forget about the bonus rounds. Okay. Yeah, that was close. Didn't want to leap into that frog. Not leap frog, mind you. Okay, right, there we are. Well, as far as it goes for my thoughts on this game, I think it's well as I avoid the sword quite narrowly there. I think it's a good game. It's quite a good Crash PS1 game. It's one of my favourites, although I prefer Crash Bandicoot 2 over this because, well... It's just because I, I think this game has a bit too many vehicles, and it's not like a major criticism on my part there to say that this is a bad game because of too many vehicles. No, that's not the case. I still quite like this game. It is a really good game, despite the amount of vehicles that you have. Anyway, so now we're going to go into Under Pressure. I wonder if I'll fall under pressure in this episode and if I die a lot during this. But, no, no, no. If I fail during this. I may be under pressure in this level for failing. And yes, I had to say that. Okay, yeah, just avoid that. I'm going to try and not to rush my way through this level either, but you can clearly tell I'm swimming so fast. So yes, I'm kind of already contradicting myself right there as I do that, so... <laughs> right. Okay, let's get rid of that. And... The underwater area, like, right here, is quite a good level. I really enjoy it, and as I lose a mask, that's just great on my part for doing that. And I can assure you, I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm actually trying to get through the game, like, or trying to get through the games I play without failing, but I'm just obviously having bad luck. I'm just hoping I don't lose any more masks, because that, that, would, that would really be bad if I lost more masks. But luckily this serves as protection as well, the... The... I've forgotten the name of this vehicle now, is it Scuba... Scuba Shooter or something? Nah, it's probably... it's, it's probably not that. Okay, so now we can go to the checkpoint and carry on. Okay, 
an extra life. I could probably take that shortcut, but I'm not going to risk it. So I'm just going to go all the way, go all the way around. It's not a speed run after all. It's not a race. Oh, right there we are. Just managed to get onto that. stands on my way of getting to the goal. Okay, get the crystal. And there we are. That's under pressure finished. I can now be relieved of that pressure for finishing the level. Okay. <laughs> yeah, too many puns right here in this episode. I always like to make puns out of these level titles. I don't know why. I just it's funny to me, I mean to make uh, puns out of the level titles, but it can become very tiresome after some time. But I'm glad that the, the Let's Play Until I Fail series is being well received so far, which I'm very happy about. And again, I thank Teal Game Master for the inspiration uh, for me to make this kind of episode, uh, this kind of series for his uh, Until I Die series. And in case you, any of you didn't know, or if you don't know who Teal Game Master is, then Please subscribe to his channel because he does brilliant content on there as well as his Until I Die series. And as far as I've heard as well, I think he's, or as far as I've seen anyway, he's beaten two games in his Until I Die series, which are Croc 2 and Toy Story 2. And I'm hoping to beat at least one game in this Let's Play Until I Fail series. Could it be this game? You never know. Now let's see if I remember to jump this time. There we are. Okay. And hopefully I don't smash into any walls in this because that would be a disaster if that happened. Just one of these boxes and get that crystal. It's lucky I'm not going for 105% on this because, well, first of all, I've never completed this game 105%. I've never gotten all relics, gold or platinum in this. I think it's pretty difficult. Okay, good. Managed to get a couple of lives. And, yeah, I mean, I think this is a very interesting series because, well, because of these stipulations I'm placing on myself for these games, especially for the next game, I'm not really going to say what it is or even hint at what it is. You'll find out for yourselves what episode 11 is going to be when by the time it comes out. But let's just say it's going to be very interesting, and it could be the shortest episode of all time. That's all I'm really going to say about it. Uh, so let's go into level 4, Boneyard. This will be the prehistoric levels, and yeah, Tiny will be speaking right here, just skip that. The prehistoric levels. And I was about to say, the underwater level from earlier, the golden bit on the underwater bit, that's in Beach Ball for Crash Bash. And that's kind of like a concept there, or taken from that level's concept, well not taken, but inspired by that level's concept right there for Beach Ball. And the music here for Boneyard is similar in Jungle... Is it Jungle Bash? Yeah, Jungle Bash. Yeah, it's inspired right there because the music is very, sounds very similar to the uh, prehistoric music used in Crash Bandicoot 3. Okay, so just keep going here. As I said before, I'm not really gonna like tame it. Uh, like, I'm gonna try and maybe pick up a pace a bit on this game. And just skip all cutscenes if I can. Yeah, and the red gems there, I'm not gonna get in that, obviously, since I'm not going for 5%. Okay, good. I, I don't know, I mean, watch your opinion on Crash Bandicoot 3. I mean, what do you think of the game? I think it's pretty good for what it is, I think, in a way. And I know there's uh, some people out there who said that Crash Bandicoot 3 is their favourite game of all time, which is which is really good. It's good to see that Crash Bandicoot 3 is, is on some people's list for their favourite game. But my top two, like I said before, were, well, Crash Bandicoot 2 is my favourite, and Crash to Insanity is number two. I just really like Crash to Insanity despite its glitches. The glitches really aren't a major thing to me. Unless if the game really screws up and freezes, then yes, that's definitely a concern right there. 
But anyhow, Boneyard is finished. And they're making good time of this, so that's good. Alright, level 5. It's time to make some waves. And hopefully I, I will do that without failing. Yeah, you don't really make waves in this level, so yeah, that's kind of another pun right there added, once again. I just can't get enough of these puns. I don't know why, but... We're making fun of the, the level's names. And hopefully I take my time in here and not run into any bombs. Because we wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? And recently I came across an article on IGN, I think it was yesterday, about the Crash Bandicoot series making a comeback. Well, well Naughty Dog were interviewed about it by IGN. And IGN, or sorry, should I say, Naughty Dog, had said that Crash Bandicoot hasn't been left off the table, but we can't really do it at this point. Because they're focusing on many other games like Uncharted 4, for example, like storytelling games like her. Games with a great story, so like Uncharted 4, which I still can't wait for that. I think that's going to be brilliant on the PlayStation 4. And The Last of Us Remastered as well. Since we're talking about Naughty Dog here, who developed well, this game, well, Crash Bandicoot 3. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, we'll need to wait and see, but it's just, I had the vision really haven't done anything with the games for a while. And I'm just hoping something good happens out of this. But to be honest with you, like I said before, if there's no new Crash Bandicoot game, I don't really mind as much because we got the classics to fall back on anyway, for good memories. So, you never know though, a return for Crash Bandicoot could very well happen. I mean, I'd like to see it, don't get me wrong, but I'm not that overly hyped about it, to be honest. I mean, well, a part of me tells me that I am overly hyped, but I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> but, Asmi got the crystal for making waves and they're just going to be going into Tiny. Facing off against them. And there's this glitch that I found on Tiny. Now I'm pretty sure some of you have played this game before so many times will know what this glitch is. And I'll show it off in this. Okay, so here we go. Could I fail on Tiny? Nah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay, so take a Tiny here. And now go to the top left corner. Stay here. And the lines won't hit you. This, I don't know if that's a glitch, I think it is, because I mean, the lions I think technically are supposed to hit you, or, or eat you at that point, but they don't, they miss you completely. Okay, one more hit on Tiny and he's down, yeah this is really easy this. Now I could still spin the lions here, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to stay in the safe zone, which is really the top left corner here. And Cortex is following my every move. Okay, just take Tiny out, get the first move, there we are, supercharged body slam. So that was pretty easy, so I managed to get past the first warp without dying, which is a good start. I'm wondering if I could actually finish the game without dying, although I think I'm going to make a prediction right here and say that I'm going to end up failing in Road Crash, which is level 14. And let me just say, I really don't like that level because it's really hard, well not really hard, but it's quite a challenge to get first place on that, in that motorbike level. Okay, so now let's go into G-Wiz. I remember this is the level that was shown off for the Crash Bandicoot 3 demo, from what I understand, or from what I remember anyway, on the UK demo number 40 for PlayStation 1. Okay then, so let's keep going here and hopefully nothing bad will happen. Okay, managed to avoid that frog, I leapt over him. Leap frog. Oh. Okay, good. Guess my invincibility. I need it. Well, I don't really need it for this level, but I just thought I would get it anyway. Making good time here and hopefully... I don't think I've ever gotten invincibility on this level before. Okay, just get rid of this knight. Good night. Wait, I actually hit the chicken with the... 
Okay, I never expected that. I actually managed to hit the chicken with the knight, and I got a wonder fruit. Never, I had never ever done that. Okay, get rid of you. Seems like these knights come in handy after all. I'll headbutt that goal with my invincibility. Yeah, and the wizard doesn't really do anything to stop me despite me being invincible. It's like he knows that I'm invincible and I can't die. Okay, yeah, and sorry if you hear that noise uh, from above. I mean, there's nothing really I can do about that, but... Okay, just avoid those knights and get the crystal. Slide spin for the win. Even though it's not really effective in this game compared to Crash Bandicoot 2. And yeah, the control is still vibrating in my hands from the nitro explosions. Alright, so G Wiz is done. I uh, say, so G Wiz, that was quick. But yeah, that was the invincibility that helped me out there. Alright, so hang him high. Now I could provide, I could put an extra challenge on myself, like, say for example if I do beat this game without dying. Or failing, should I say, well, well technically dying, but if I beat this game without dying, potentially I could go to get the, well, all the relics and beat Cortex again, but that'd be me redoing the ledge play, but to be honest, I really don't want to do that. Okay, but it make, it for, it make for a good challenge though, I feel anyway. Especially if I'm rushing through the levels and I don't really see what I'm doing through the levels and I accidentally end up dying. That's a good combo right there. Combo breaker. Not really, but... Okay, good. Oh, right. Get off there. I was nearly about to bump into that guy with the pots. Now, I could have actually fallen off there. I could have been an absolute idiot and just fallen off the monkey bars right there, but I didn't. So that was lucky. Okay, get rid of your scorpion. And get the crystal. Now, in the PAL version of this, when you approach this bit, the... Oh, okay. I was about to say the game kind of freezes a bit, but it doesn't. Like, I tend to notice that, like, when I played it. Oh, whoa, that was close. I actually thought I was going to die, but I didn't. Whoa, right, okay, I'm just going to avoid... Oh, forgot I didn't have double jump. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was getting used to Rafa Cortex again, thinking I had a double jump, but I didn't. At least I didn't die. I only lost to Aku Aku Mask. If I had no mask there, that would have been absolute humiliation. But... Okay, right, so I managed to finish Hang Him High. So, that was a bit idiotic of me. I actually thought I could double jump over the Nitro early, but I thought, no, Kieran, you haven't beat Dingo Dal yet, so you can't... <laughs> you can't beat... You don't have double jump yet, so you need to beat be Dingo Dal first. Yeah, I can't get my words out today for some reason. I don't know whether it's just the excitement of this episode. Probably could be. Alright, here's the first motorbike level. I'm pretty sure I'll, win, I'll get first place in this. Hopefully I will, anyway. Okay, good start. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, this motorbike level is pretty easy, so I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll get first place on this. As long as I can keep the acceleration going, or the boost, the boost going on this level, I should be fine. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, good. It's a good thing I slowed down there because I, I was about to go off the road. I'll just go on these ramps. Hopefully, get ahead of this guy who's in front of me. Alright, second. There's one more car to overtake and that's pretty much it. I've won the race. I mean, unless if I really screw up somehow. Okay. Speed boost. Hopefully I can maintain it all the way. Oh. No, no, no. Slow down. Right. Good. Good thing I slowed down. Otherwise I would have missed that. That speed boost right at the very end. And I would have lost. So it's a good thing I slowed down there. If I hadn't, then I think things could have been a lot worse. Alright, so, we're well, on 19 minutes. Okay, I've survived longer than Crash Bandicoot 2, so that's good. Alright, now it's time for Tomb Time, or it could be Doom, or it could be Doom Time. 
depending on how I get on on this. Okay, skip Dingo Dow. I know he's going to speak to.